Okay, this is an applied kind of quadratic and linear system of equations uh, question, and I think it's pretty cool. And let's see here. A piece of wire 100 meters long is cut into two pieces, and each piece is bent into a square. Well, let's just think about this part here. So here's a square. It's x and x and another x and another x. That feels like 4x to me plus y plus y plus y plus y. 4x's plus 4y's equals 100. Hey, well, that's one of your equations. That should make sense. It says the sum of the areas of the squares, if you go x times x plus y times y, x squared plus y squared is supposed to equal 397. Well, that seems like a pretty good, that's your two um, equations, x squared plus y squared adds up to 397 squares, 4x plus 4y equals that 100 meters. Okay, so we can make this question a lot easier by dividing everything by 4. It's going to turn into x plus y equals 100 divided by 4 is 25. So that means that y equals 25 minus x. Oh, wow, well, this is just a system of equations. So instead of y, we put in 25 minus x and we square it. Well, we can just do FOIL on that, and we get x squared plus, oh, 625, 25 times 25, minus 25 minus another 25 is minus 50x when you do FOIL, that's the inside and outside products, and then minus x times minus x, that's plus x squared. Well, what's x squared and x squared is 2x squared. 625 minus 397, that's 228. Now, hey, they're all even numbers. Let's divide everything by 2. Okay, now, if you know your factors of 114, you probably know more factors than me. So what I did is I pressed the 114, put it in my calculator, went shift F-A-C-T, and it's 2 times 3 times 19. It's 6 times 19. Well, 6 and 19, and there's 25. Well, that makes it nice and easy. X and X, 6 times 19 is 114, and I'm going to need two negatives to make this minus 25x. So my two answers, or possible answers for x, is x is 6 or 19. But it kind of looks like here that the big one must be 19. So that means x is 19, and the other one must be uh, 6. That would make sense of the whole problem, because if we went... If x is 19, y's got to be 6. See, I just put it back into this original little equation there. And there you go. I thought that was pretty... Since x is the larger number, it must be x equals 19 and y equals 6. And there you go.